what's up what's up guys welcome back to the channel it's your boy modin and i'm back again with another entertainment video so um <laughs> i've been i was not feeling well for some time so i couldn't update but um i'm feeling much better now and um i've been seeing something on social media which i think doesn't make sense at all i don't know who started it but personally it doesn't make sense we shouldn't be fueling such conversations right and if you've already seen the thumbnail, then you know it's about the studios of Shatawali and Stoneboy, right? So uh, some of the fans are posting across board um, two studios, one from the SM camp and one from the BIM camp, and comparing that one has world-class studio equipment and the other is just hanging pictures over there and stuff like that, right? Guys, honestly speaking, these are some of the things that we do that draw the Ghanaian music industry backward. It doesn't make sense at all. Um, when you think about it holistically, um, those who know Shatawale and those who know Stoneboy know that Shatter makes his own beats, right? Shatter makes his own beats. And for the fact that he makes his own beats, he needs every setup he needs over there, right? Including the drums he even has in the studio. Um, he does everything from scratch. He likes to create the beats and sing and do everything. Stoneboy, on the other hand, uh, works with beats from other producers. Now, as to whether Stoneboy can create beats, I mean, with time, people develop, right? So maybe now he has learned how to, how to create beats. And so, yeah, but from... The video excerpts have been seen from the works he does in his studio. It's more like he still works with um, beat makers. Um, they send him the beat and he's able to lay over his voices on top of it like that. Or perhaps uh, he also works with an in-house um, engineer all the time who comes in to like master the work and do some of the things for him. You get it. Um, so with that being said, his, his studio should be minimal. His studio should be minimal. There's nothing huge he needs to do. You get it. And besides, nowadays, the way the world is moving with the entertainment industry, people like to keep studios with them at home and also on the go, mobile studios, so that they, when they have ideas, they can always put it to ground and all that kind of stuff, right? And so I I don't like the narrative that Stoneboy's uh, studio is of, how do you call it? It's more like a a wall for hanging pictures and all that kind of no 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 that's a low blow you don't do that at all it doesn't matter if you are a shatawali fan and because of that you want to do that and some of them are also going and saying that yeah uh, better having uh, showcasing your awards your plaques on your wall than having blue lights all over all these things doesn't make sense guys all these things doesn't make sense we all know um Shatawale doesn't need validity for his work. He's more hungry for the work. He's more about the music. He likes to just do the music and go his way. That is what he likes doing the most, right? And uh, Stoneboy, on the other hand, also likes doing the music, but he also likes receiving awards and accolades here and there, right? And he likes to display them, you know. I'm sure all those boom, boom, play, whatever things, if Shatawale wants it, he can get them, he can get them today, but... The basis is that, guys, we don't have to be comparing things like studios. People have their own preferences and taste, and they have their own reasons for doing things in a certain way, you know? So um, people have their taste for doing music and all that stuff. We don't have to always compare things this trivial, you know? Um, Shatawale has a way he wants his studio to look like. Likewise, Stoneboy, right? And so for us as fans to just... Pick up on the, uh, of course, you can see beautiful pictures and all that kind of stuff and you want to just troll, you know. But trolling will not make us move forward as an industry, guys. It won't. It won't. I mean, it works for some time for you to just make fun of your artist and another person's artist and all that kind of stuff. But at the end of the day, the agenda is Ghana. What are we doing to put Ghana on the map? Right? Irrespective of their individual studios, they are all that's the same studio Shatawale recorded with Beyonce. Stoneboy's same studio is also where he recorded with the likes of uh, Sean Paul and um, uh, all these other artists that you can you can mention of. You know the beat started from there, and recently he even welcomed uh, Odumadu Black or something into his studios too. Come on, guys. Regardless, 
um, the nature and size and look of the studio. It is functional. They all produce good music out of there. The most important thing is how is it benefiting our country and how can we push? You know, if an artist does a song and you don't like it, fair to you. But it's just up to you and your music ears and what you like and what you don't like. Basically, your preference. And so I don't like the idea of making this unusual comparisons online with the how do you call it, with, with the studios. It doesn't make sense. It is a low blow. It is not something I will encourage at all. Um, desist from it. If you are one of those who are doing that, shame on you. Don't do it. It doesn't make sense at all. This type of comparisons will not help us. It is not It is not going to push us anywhere. Um, for Stoneboy fans, go out there, patronize your artist, push him, make sure that he is up there with the very best you like to compare him to. For the SM fans, go out there, consume Shatawale's music, push him to the level you want to see him. This data you're using to argue online whose studio looks better, that same data can be used to stream songs. That same data can be used to make the artists make money so that they can make more um, videos and all those kind of stuff. You know, when, when they are motivated from the views that they get and the streaming numbers they get, that is what pushes them to do more. Not comparison of studios. A studio is like a shrine that someone builds to sit there and do business, right? That's their office. And so if someone's office looks bluish and someone's office looks uh, picturish, it's up to them. You know, that's what drives them. That's their preference. That's what makes them go. That's what gives them the inspiration to feel comfortable and do music, right? So please, let's not do that at all. It doesn't make sense um, on all levels. I don't care if it's just for trolling purposes and all that kind of stuff, but it doesn't make sense at all. Let's stop it. You know, it's unnecessary. It doesn't help anybody at all. So uh, this is what I've got to say. I, now that I feel a lot stronger, I will come with more um, videos. Let me know what you think about this t-shirt, right? Uh, this muddy t-shirt. Let me know what you think about it and possibly maybe I can get some out there for you guys who are interested in it. Um, do have a very good one. And to my Muslims, happy Idil uh, Mubarak. Um, I wish you all a happy celebration and um, I hope you all went through good with your fasting. I know the time is coming soon, today, tomorrow, based on the location you are. Um, but... Aside all, stay blessed and be good. My name is Ufaramah Remodin, like I always say on this channel. If anybody comes to you, it's all about positivity. If anybody comes to you with a negative vibe, turn around with a smile and say, peace out.